Hello, this is Dr. Gwen Morse. Today we're going to talk about Florence Nightingale. While many of you know that she was the founder of modern day nursing, she also was a passionate statistician. Undoubtedly, our nursing colleagues are well versed in Florence Nightingale's role as the founder of modern day nursing, but little is known regarding her contribution to statistics. More importantly, it is because of her passion in math and statistics that nursing has evolved into the profession we know today. Florence Nightingale exhibited a gift for mathematics from an early age and excelled in the subject under the tutorship of her father. She had a special interest in statistics, a field in which her father was an expert and had taught her in childhood. At the age of 17, social statistics was becoming well known and included birth, death, and marriage registration data. When she decided to become a nurse against her family's wishes, she gathered statistical information on hospitals and public health to help argue her cause. It is thought that Nightingale learned statistics from Cordelais. Cordelais was one of the pioneer developers of statistical research methods. Nightingale made numerous contributions to the field of statistics and the study of social phenomena. She was a pioneer in the graphical representation of data and was one of the first to use color-coded bar and pie charts to highlight key points. This is shown in this chart where this is probably one that she's most well known for called a Coxcomb chart. And as, as the uh, information shows you, the Coxcomb indicates frequency by relative area, but it differs in its use of fixed angles and variable radii. Nightingale is often referred to as a passionate statistician. The importance of accurate and relevant data to guide actual work became clear, quite clear to her through the disasters of the Crimean War. Her careful recording of outcomes of care supported a causal link between her sanitary reforms and a decrease in mortality from 43% to 2% 14 months later. Amazing, huh? After the war, Nightingale received a royal commission established to investigate precisely what went wrong and how to prevent such tragedy in the future. And the establishment of a statistical department was one of the most important recommendations from the report. Keeping track of mortality and morbidity in the patients under her care, she analyzed the results and applied them to plans for changes in hospital architecture, sanitation, and nursing care. This work was a pioneering contribution to the emerging field of epidemiology. Throughout her professional career, she made extensive use of statistical analysis in the compilation, analysis, and presentation of statistics on medical care and public health. And as you see, they all benefited as a result of her work. In 1858, Nightingale was elected the first female member of the Royal Statistical Society, and she later became an honorary member of the American Statistical Association. Why should nurses be concerned about statistics? I'm hoping that the discussion that we've had so far has helped illustrate the impact statistics has had on the development of nursing science. However, you may still be wondering why you need to know statistics. Many of you had statistics some time ago and in some cases did not fully comprehend the content. Your undergraduate statistics course serves as an introduction to statistics and, in, and we're hoping that as you build your knowledge and further develop your comprehension that you will be able to apply the statistics in a more meaningful manner. For instance, in evidence-based practice, it is important that our nurse colleagues build an evidence-based practice. Evidence-based practice decisions are based on data collected from a research project as well as an understanding of literature to support changes in practice. Statistics provides us with a tool to make an educated decision. 
research articles. As, as n- nurses in our field, it is critical that we encourage our nurses to critically review our scientific literature. Often nurses avoid the results section of a paper and are unable to critically review the article. Without an understanding of statistics, the information contained in, in that section will be meaningless. An understanding of statistics provides us with the skills necessary to read and evaluate the results section. The ability to extract meaning from journal articles and the ability to critically evaluate research from a statistical perspective are skills that will enhance your knowledge. Then finally, you may have the opportunity to conduct and participate in research, and it will be much more meaningful if you have a, an understanding of statistics. And plus, Florence Nightingale would be very proud of you. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. Um, I think what I've learned or what I hope to express in this is that it is important that we understand uh, the, the data and that we collect the data to contribute to our nursing science. Take good care. This is Dr. Gwen.